And time now to take a look at the Discover Perfect Pitch competition. Now, there were two streams, leadership and partnership and collaboration. For the last few weeks, participating fintechs have been battling it out to woo the judges for the prize of exclusive roundtable access to venture capitalists and connections with banks. And we're delighted to tell you that the winners are... Drum roll. <laughs> Quantexo, who won the leadership stream, and partner hub ZRT won the partnership and collaboration stream. And we're joined by Alexa Bell, Chief Product Officer at Quantexa, and uh, Kathleen Cowsley, Ka uh, Causley even, Business Development Director at Partner Hub ZRT. Welcome to you both. Uh, hopefully we don't have any technological gremlins uh, this time around. Um, Alexa, if I can start with you, tell us, tell us a, bit, a bit about your pitch. Uh, what was it about and how did it feel to win? Hi, good morning, afternoon, uh, evening, wherever you are in the world. And firstly, just say thank you to Cybos, the judges and the other finalists for a great event and conference. For me, it was a kind of culmination of exciting and nervousness at the same time. There are thousands of people and institutions here, and obviously they could be listening in to what we were saying. Um, we picked the leadership category because I think we felt it was the best fit for what we were doing. Um, we've taken a very different approach to... Um, supercharging AI machine learning, which is first to solve the data problems within organizations. Um, you know, these things um, can be unexciting, but single views of customers across silos and business lines and geographies um, and enriching that with external data actually is a great foundation to allow organizations to run amazing um, machine learning models. I think also taking that step further by transforming kind of boring rows in tables into kind of more exciting connections in networks and diagrams um, takes things from a kind of 2D to a 3D world. Um, and then just talking about the proof points of how we've done this, so, you know, banks, insurers, governments, um, you know, big platforms at 60 billion records. Um, you know, that was really what we wanted to talk about and convey. OK, it's a slightly cheeky question, Alexon, but do forgive me. Why do you think you won? <laughs> That is a cheeky question. I think maybe the judges could answer that. But um, I think really um, we did prep for this quite well, right? We know Cybos got a huge audience. Um, it was a team effort, so we had marketing people and other people helping us. Um, and I think also um, we've been through this a few times. That would be my recommendation to any fintech or startup is enter these competitions. It's, it's really difficult to summarise your business in two minutes. Um, so go through that exercise a couple of times and enter these competitions because it's great marketing. Um, and I would like to think that at the end of the day, when we talked about what we did, there was an appreciation by the judges and the audience about kind of what we've done. Um, you know, we've gone from six people start up five and a half years ago to about 400 people now. Um, hopefully we demonstrated that we've got some real live proof points and you know, we can solve problems not just in banking, but in different verticals across anti-money laundering, compliance, risk, fraud, and actually even helping to find opportunities. Hopefully that came across and they appreciated that. But, um, yeah, a bit of a cheeky question. <laughs> Kathleen, I'm going to piggyback on that cheeky question, if I, if I may. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit about your pitch and, and why do you think you were successful with it? Yeah, uh, our pitch was about uh, why the birth of an invoicing and integrated invoicing and payment ecosystem is inevitable and we explain the driving forces behind and obviously how we can help banks on this journey um, and the reason we won was i think uh, uh, we uh, have a um, unique view of invoicing and we view invoicing from a bank's perspective and I think uh, digital invoice management and payments integrated together is kind of a novel idea within banks, but it's getting more relevance with the changing regulations. And I think request to pay is really a use case which connects these two uh, areas, invoicing and, uh, and digital invoice management. So I think that we got a good moment. Uh, request to pay is a hot topic. Um, and banks are trying to explore the use cases behind, and we have idea, value proposition, and the solution for that. Okay. And uh, I think uh, the FIS partnership gave us or gives us a huge credibility. So it was 
for sure a great plus on our application. Absolutely. And finally, and very briefly, what do you think you've learned from this? And more to the point, what is it that you'll think you'll take away? Uh, I think uh, for us uh, that we need to continue our mission and we need to carry out our vision of uh, making banks the backbone of this integrated ecosystem. We got the confirmation that what we have been saying and uh, doing uh, has a future. Well, uh, Kathleen Causley uh, and Alexa and Bell, our perfect pitch competition winners. Once again, a huge congratulations from everyone here at Cybos TV. Thank you so much for joining us here.